All right, we're on. It is about 9.30, Wednesday, June 23rd. Yeah, that sounds right. So this hive I'm concerned about, because I don't know if what the deal is, if there's a queen, if she's laying, if she's bad or below par, or if there's a laying worker. <clears throat> you can see here I've added in two frames of old brood comb. Actually this was brood comb from this hive behind me that they were capping and working. This they were working on and this one here I added from last year's wore a brood comb cut to fit. Um, I just want to go in and see what's up. I don't see near as much activity as I do behind me. Maybe it'll be short. Hopefully it will be. Wow, and that's on there. I don't have any spacers in this hive. Either that's really tight or they have sealed it up a bit. It's already in the 70s. Excuse me. <coughs> oh goodness. I don't see nothing going on. And if I don't see any evidence of a queen, it's hard to get rid of laying workers, so I may be carrying all these bees way off into the front yard, shaking them on the ground because the laying worker bee will not fly back and she'll just be lost. It's starting to irritate me already. So they haven't built any further, but I will show you. Pretty convinced Let's see if I can get this over here you can see I don't know what you guys are doing Yeah, I'm flipping this all over the place because they've done nothing. But it looks like if you can see the... Hmm, it's hard to say there. Looks like they have... If you look here, you can see all the small cell. And if you look over here, how they've expanded this all out to accommodate brood. So. I'm thinking it's a laying worker, so I've got to deal with that now. They haven't they haven't built any more comb really. What's wrong with these little turds? Something must have happened to the queen. I don't know if it was I don't know. But she should have she should have already been <clears throat> a mated queen when she arrived. So,
no more calm than there was a week ago or even maybe even well before that. Let's check out those uh, queen cells from I see a lot of drones I me. Mean, I see drone brood, sugar water. Oh, nectar, sugar water. Drone, cap drone. Looks like they're in the process of capping drone larva. This queen cell looks pretty dark, so I'm thinking there is a queen in there. Seven to ten days ago, it was still kind of light colored, but let me look through the lens here. Um, if you can see that queen cell right there, it's looking dark as opposed to somewhat see-through. So I think there is a developing queen in there that has not emerged. And I see... Yeah, this is not, I see many, 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 dang, I almost need a microscope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to eight plus eggs in a single cell. And from what I've read and watched, um, there will be issues if you have a laying, a laying worker and a queen, but sometimes they will kill the queen. Oh, I see pollen on that guy. So I think there's bees all over that brood comb that I put in here a little while back. I don't know if you can see them right here. Very low population. I mean, that hive over there is just blowing it up. I'm not really into nursing bees, other than sugar water. Okay, so I see larva, drone comb, So they've been reusing this, it looks like. I'm also looking to see if I happen to see a queen. I don't see a lot of drones, surprisingly. Don't get riled up now. If you keep this nonsense up, you're all gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna get down on one knee here. We still haven't filled that 
And let me drop the drone. So I see drone, cap, uncap. Hard to tell what's what. I see a few drones here. I'd rather them be uh, superseding the queen than having a laying worker. Captain Uncap Drone Brood. Cap Stores. More Captain Uncap Drone. Uh, multiple eggs in cells. Not a very big population. Very little nectar. Alright, I need to get it together. I didn't see immediate a queen. There are going to be some pretty angry campers here shortly. Because I've had about enough. Stay. I'm not going to say I'm going to keep this short anymore. It'll be what it is. Yeah. Oh, very little cap stores. Drone, more drone brood. Yeah, I'm going to take this matter into my own hands. A lot of nectar. They are still foraging. You got to feel feed those lazy drones. Then we're on to this one here. That almost looks like a queen cell. How many frames is that? One, two, three, four, five, happy here in a minute. It's a risky maneuver, but I'm going to do it anyways. I should have made this nuke box a little bit bigger. I can only fit four frames in here. Alright, I'm going to 
put these in here. I'm gonna go shake them out on the front yard. One, two, three, four. Should probably do. I don't know if I'll be able to carry everything and this extra. One, two, three, four, five. So. A one. Prepare to get angry. One. Maybe I should have started at the front of the hive. <clears throat> that may not hold if I shake that off. All right, no coming out of there, you little sissy. Yeah, you can get mad. All right. What y'all are doing out here, but it's not working. I'll just deal with the two spacers. So I'm going to stop the video. What I'm going to do is go up to the front yard. I don't know how far that is, a couple hundred yards. I'm going to shake all these bees off of these frames. I'm going to bring them back and put them back in. And all the foragers and the important bees, nurse bees, that type of stuff will should come back. It's a crap shoot, but and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other two frames. And then I'm gonna check the hive behind me, see if they have a frame of brood, capped brood, various stages. Actually I think that is a queen. Um, Some of it doesn't make sense. I mean, a laying worker, unless it's a combination of laying worker and messed up queen. But I'm going to stop the video and I'll start it back in a minute.